Uh, y'all, so in lieu of or in honor of Memorial Day, and because I got this big, huge, like, family pack of, uh, y'all see, like, the drumettes or whatever, drumettes, wingettes, whatever you want to call it, um, the drums and the flats. So this is only half, y'all, and it's just, it's just us four. So that's only half, and I got another half of the other pack is over there. I'm going to do, um, I think I'm going to put those in the, I'm going to barbecue those in the crock pot. And, uh, I'm probably going to record it, too, because... Why not? All right. If y'all, if you haven't seen my roasted chicken video, I'm going to do, I'm going to roast these, right? So I have my oven preheated at 400. The key to getting crispy skin on your roasted chicken, y'all, is to use oil, okay? I like olive oil. Use the oil of your choice. Um, Grapeseed oil, um, avocado oil. They, they tend to have uh, high cooking points as well, y'all, so. Those are the kind of oils you want to use when you're trying to roast them. Alright. So, put some olive oil on there. And I'm going to try not to go too ham on the salty stuff this time. Because um, I'm using a few different things. So, I got at least, let's see. Four out of my eight that I'm going to use are salt-free seasoning, okay? Alright. We're going to do some uh, adobo. I like adobo on chicken, huh? Okay. Some adobo. Y'all know my cavendish. Cavendish is like my salt and pepper. Cavendish. And y'all not going super ham. Okay. A little Tony's. Uh, Tony's, they make a salt free, y'all. This is not the salt free. This is almost done anyway. So I'm going to keep on, of course, I'm going to use this up. And then when I go and re up, because next month I got to re up on some other spices too, I'll probably. Lean towards a little bit more uh, salt free options for y'all. Yeah. Us and y'all. Uh, this is this is a lemon pepper. Keep in mind, I didn't mean to kind of go ham. This one is not salt free, okay? So, no more, no more, no more down, no more lemon pepper. I'm gonna put a little bit of paprika for color, y'all. I don't really get much taste, but paprika for color. This is the no salt uh, garlic and pasta. You can put as much as that you want. Okay. Garlic powder. Because you got it. Yeah, we want our food to be seasoned and taste good. Onion powder. And yeah, y'all, I'm doing it in one pan. If you are somebody who does not like that, then y'all just a little parsley. Additional parsley. Don't really do nothing else to it. Tasty, but y'all will look good. Y'all know, uh, Y'all know black folks good for doing something just because it look good. All right, y'all ready? All right, so basically, I'm going to do some massages in. Things y'all would know about me already. Y'all know I'm, I got a season and we're going to massage our meat. Get it well seasoned. And that's when you come in with that part, okay? And then that oil also helps it stick, okay? So, um... Another option for you, y'all, is um, oh yeah, I got a hole in my mouth. What am I looking for? <coughs> It'll be alright, y'all. This pan, I've been through it, y'all, but I'm one of them people, y'all. If it ain't broke, <laughs> if it ain't broke, I'm gonna keep on using it until it's completely just out of whack. Just because I want it to be a little bit more seasoned, y'all. I might add a little bit more um that garlic and parsley on the other side. What's my name? Um, I thought I was being heavy handed, y'all. Mm. Put some more of that garlic and parsley on there. All right, so babe, I'm going to turn it over on that other side. Yeah, that side, like I ain't got as much seasoning. That side. That one pretty good. Y'all see what I'm doing, y'all? I'm not. I'm gonna do the. Hold on, here. I got. I got a gang of gloves, y'all. Alright, a little bit more garlic parsley on that side, y'all. That's what they say. That's what they do. Come in. Come in. 
And to my liking, it's like it needs to be a little bit more from me. And like I said, yeah, I got like banger gloves. So I'm gonna put that in. Okay. We're just gonna roast these though. What's that? In a particular order, place just fit everybody in. Oh, yeah, my little, that little piece right there. So ugly. Here, put it right there. <laughs> ugly. Look out of place. Give a little space. Try to do a little space in between them, y'all. You know, so they not like sticking together and stuff. Alright. I'm putting this in the oven. I got my oven pre preheated on 400, y'all. I'm putting this in the oven for 400. I'm going to start with 20 minutes on that first side. Um, And then I'll, but I, I'll give y'all a definite exact time when I'm done. But I always start with 20 to 30 minutes on the first side. Um, And then I'll flip them and then we'll go from there. All right, y'all, these are our roasted trimmets. They came out good. Now, y'all, y'all know I be doing stuff. I be all over the place trying to do more than one thing at the same time. So, I did let these go a little bit longer, okay? So, these went probably right about an hour. If you do not want them cooked, like, a little bit hard like this, like, they're still good. If you don't want them this crispy, um, do, like, 45 minutes. 45 50 minutes it make a big difference because you're cooking it you're already cooking it at 400 degrees okay so do 45 50 minutes or whatever to your liking of course make sure it's all done and cooked through but if you don't want it this crispy this is pretty crispy um and we're gonna do a little mukbang because i'm making a few other things too right um but yeah yeah this is the roasted chicken wings and i'm excited y'all i need now with some ranch and some hot sauce and we're gonna smash but yeah that's our roasted chicken drumettes.